Hi guys, I know I've gotten a lot of questions about how to edit student work and give them feedback so that you can mark up what they've done and give them either a grade or some notes or show them things to fix or even highlight instructions they did not read. So let me show you how to do that on Seesaw. First, you're going to go to your activities and then go to one that you have assigned. So let's just start with this first one here. Um, click on where it says responses or just the activity and you can come down and see who has done work. So I can see that I've got four kids that have done work and turned something in. So when you're looking at it, click on the kid. And here, just as an idea, you can flip through and see what they have done and see what they haven't, right? So if you're like, oh man, I really like how she wrote the number here like she was supposed to. I'm gonna give her some feedback and say, I like how you found your evidence. What you're gonna do is while you're looking at it, go to the next page, click on these three dots and go to edit item. This will edit that student's work. So here on the side, I can see all of her work. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, Kara, I love how you wrote the number three to show your explicit evidence. Way to go, right? and then you edit it as you need. If you have your Chromebook and you can write on the screen, you can just write, but I'm gonna put this right here and then come down here and let's say here it says to answer with a complete, a complete sentence and she kind of wrote fragments. So I'm gonna write, Kara, make sure you're using complete sentences here with correct Capitalization and punctuation. So, edit it as you need. You can change the background, play with it however you want. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm going to take my tool and I'm gonna write a really obvious arrow so that she can see that. Once she gets on there, she can delete that, okay? So go ahead and once you're finished making your corrections or comments, go to the green check, click OK. And then now that is on her work. She can do the same thing from home. So on her work, she'll go here, click on edit right here, edit item, and she can go back in and edit. So both of us back and forth, we can edit. So they can edit from home. We can edit from here and go back and forth. And what I might do is after I've left a feedback, I'm going to say, Kara, Great job on your assignment. I left you some feedback on the last page for your writing answers. Take a look and make a few corrections. I love how you showed your evidence. Then I post it and she'll get a notification on her seesaw that I've left her a comment. So she'll see that and know to go back. And then on my seesaw from my e-learning day, I had a back and forth conversation with my kids and them saying, can you take a look now? It's good. And then me saying, yes, it's good. Or don't forget that part. So that way they can see. And sometimes what it is, is it's highlighting those tasks because a lot of my kids didn't show their work or a lot of my kids didn't highlight their evidence. So I'm gonna go in there and circle with the highlighter really obviously and say, please take a look at this. So that is how you can edit their work. It works on any of your assignments as long as they have submitted something for you. And like I said, I think an important tip to remember is to leave that feedback here on the assignment so that they know that you added something on there. So she'll be able to see here, here's my response and here's my idea for her. So that way they know to go back in. Otherwise, if you edit their thing, I don't think that they get an update to let them know that you edited it. So this part here is crucial to let them know they've got something to go back and look at and know that they've got notes waiting for them from you. Okay, I think that should be it. If you have any problems, let me know.